The word tray is derived from the Middle English word trig or trig, meaning flat board with low rim. Essentially, a tray is a flat, shallow container made of wood, metal, or a combination of the two, used for querying or displaying food, drinks, and related items. A tray is a shallow platform designed for the carrying of items. It can be fashioned from numerous materials including silver, brass, sheet iron, paperboard, wood, melamine, and molded pulp. Trays range in cost from inexpensive molded pulp trays, which are disposable and inexpensive melamine trays used in cafeterias, to mid-priced wooden trays used in a home, to expensive silver trays used in luxury hotels. Some examples have raised galleries, handles, and short feet for support. Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you serving tray or breakfast tray design ideas as beginner woodworking project ideas for your inspiration. Watch the video until then to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and to smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Your subscription means a lot to us and encourages us to create more content. Therefore, please, please consider subscribing if you are not already a subscribed member. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Trays are flat, but with raised edges to stop things from sliding off them. They are made in a range of shapes, but are commonly found in oval or rectangular forms, sometimes with cut-out or even attached handles with switch to carry them. A more elaborate device is the tray table, which is designed to accommodate a tray or to serve as a tray itself. There are two primary kinds of tray tables. The TV tray table is typically a small table which may have legs that fold to allow it to be carried like a tray. The airplane tray table is a tray built into the back of an airplane seat, which folds down so that the person sitting in the seat behind the one containing the table can use it as a surface from which to eat meals served on the airplane. The earliest example of a tray that we were able to verify the age of is an Etruscan black earthenware tray, said to date from the 7th to the 6th century BC or pre Roman times. There is no certainty that the Etruscan tray is the oldest in existence, but it does suggest that the concept of a tray is an ancient one existing millennia before they became commonplace in aristocratic and wealthy homes. The serving tray as we know it today is an evolution of the salver, which was a term used in England from the mid-17th century to denote a flat tray usually made of silver. The word derives from the Latin salvare, meaning to save. Originally, the use of a salver indicated that the food or drink served upon it was intended for royalty, because it was required that a servant must test everything for poison before it reached the king's table. The salver was used to indicate that this process had taken place and that the food or drink was now fit for a king. Salvers are essentially trays without handles, with some salver designs also incorporating feet. English, Irish and Scottish silver salvers date back to the early 17th century. During the 18th century, the popular style of the tray was a plain oval shape featuring reeded molding and loop handles. By the 19th century, 
carrying handles were being added to large sized salvers to accommodate the increasingly weighty tea and coffee services which were preferred by the members of society with higher social standing. In the early 19th century, long oblong trays became fashionable. Gallery trays named for their lipo ridge, which was called the gallery, were trays made in either wood or metal with higher sides than the traditional tray. This provides more security, preventing items being carried from slipping or tipping off the surface of the tray. Victorian trays were heavily ornamented to adhere to the style of many pieces of silverware and homeware at this time. Decoration can vary from a heavy detailed baroque styling to subtle modern art deco shapes and styles. There are wide varieties of types and styles of tray to suit every need at and home. Whether you're looking for a grained piece for ornamentation, a large practical piece to use as part of dining service, or a specially decorated piece to use every day, you can have a tea tray, a drinks tray, or a snuffer tray to suit you. As well as silver trays, there are also meat platters, salvers and waiters, tazas, bread dishes, all contained within the tray category. These, are, these all have specific small differences and histories, however, they can all be considered forms of trade. When you look at examples of trade, we will see some about 10 examples. The first one is a butler's tray often has a gallery or deeper surround handles on the long side to facilitate carrying, usually cut into the surround, and a portable stand with folding legs. It is used for the service of drinks and general services, as a con generally serves as a convenient side table. Number two, cafeteria tray. A cafeteria tray is used for carrying items in a cafeteria. It is typically made of plastic or fiberglass. A compartment tray or mess tray is a cafeteria tray designed to be used directly without dishes. It incorporates shallow compartments in which different types of food are placed. Number 3. A cargo tray. A cargo tray is a tray used to hold goods. Number 4. A molded pulp tray. This is a disposable or recyclable tray provided by fast food restaurants, coffee shops and movie theaters. The tray is designed to hold four disposable cups. Number 5. Surgical trays. They are used to carry surgical instruments. They are rectangular and made of stainless steel to resist the heat of sterilization without corrosion. Number 6. Seed trays. They are used for propagating vegetables and flowers and other plants from seed. They are also used for taking plant cuttings. The trays for seedling production are made of expanded polystyrene or polythene. They come in many sizes, the most common are the Danish and the European size trays. Seed trays can also be stuck in seed tray racks to take up less space. Number 7. A dark room tray, also known as a print developing tray, is used in photography. 8. A dental impression tray. Is there receptacle or device that is used to carry impression material through the mouse, confine the material in a position to the surfaces to be recorded, and control the impression material while it sets to form the impression. Number 9. A baking tray or oven tray. 
is used to cook a variety of foods in an oven, including vegetables and meats such as whole chickens. It allows foods to be very exposed to the hot air inside the oven while it's preventing any fats of liquid from falling into the oven floor. And number 10, food packaging trays. There are three categories for this one. A foam tray is used by the supermarkets and by the fruit shops to package meat and small fruits, vegetables and mushrooms. An aluminium foil takeout food tray is used by the supermarket for packaging processed food. A thin plastic tray is used for both packaging, shelf food and for takeout food. Serving trays are very important functional items usually used to carry plates of food and dishes to diners. This is the reason why they must be able to deal with relatively heavy weight, be completely flat and include a lip or each to keep the items in place. The vast majority of serving trays have handles that come in form of lips or ears and have finger holes, even though some of them don't have such holes. In the past, serving trays were found and used in big houses to carry food from the kitchen to the dining area. The majority of rectangular trays were made to follow the length of people's shoulders so the carrier could go through a doorway without the need to turn. This is quite natural because they used serving trays for carrying jugs of water and wine, bowls of veggies and fruits, platters of meat, toast rack and tureens, and any drop or spirit could cause a huge problem. Serving trays in the past were often a sign of rank and position in society because many of them were personalized and people could recognize the specific style of trays and associate them with certain nobility and royalty. Today there are many different kinds of serving trays, for instance there are the butler's trays which share some characteristics with modern TV tray tables. The main difference is that these trays are made from a wide range of materials like exotic woods, animal, horn, trim, metal and so on. Of course the materials used in modern trays are even more versatile, being made from plastic and wood to metal and melamine. Modern trays are much more practical, they allow people to carry greater weight and they can be cleaned easily. Even though rectangular trays are still the most popular type of serving trays, many people use circular or round trays and oval trays too. In addition, there are bean band trays, non-slip varieties and nesting trays that are available. Well, the viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting serving tray or breakfast tray design ideas for you in inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use daily as an inspiration. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.